Good morning, Columbia approach. Cessna 12232. The 12232? Yes, sir. Cessna 12232. We are at 172, just departed Hamilton Owens northbound. Headed to Bishopville for the Breakfast Club this morning, currently at 1,700 feet. At Bishopville traffic, Cessna 12232. Five miles to the west, descending out of 2.5 for Bishopville. Bishopville traffic, we got one just about to overfly the airport from the west. Got another one in behind them, that's me and then you. All right, sir, we'll be looking.
thank the folks that put on the meal, made it possible for us to have breakfast here and supply the museum. This is one of the unique gatherings we have to come up and take a look at the Cotton Museum and the Veterans Museum. It's unique in South Carolina. These folks go to an awful lot of trouble and hard work. They've got the shuttle system to get us back and forth from the airport. So let's give them a round of applause. Thank you very much. We've also got cadets from the Citadel that are keeping us in line. They didn't give them tasers this morning, which is probably a good thing. But everybody is probably well behaved. It was good to see the folks getting started in the Citadel. We appreciate y'all taking time to come out. All right, I want to welcome y'all to Benchville and South Carolina Breakfast Club this morning. Unlike some folks who thought it was in Pillion, but they just stopped there for gas on the way. Uh, Pillion is two weeks, and we have schedules up here in case you need them. South Carolina Breakfast Club started in 1938 in Orangeburg, South Carolina, and has been going on pretty much ever since every other week, except for a brief period during World War II with gas rationing cut down on civilian activities. And we do it every week, every now and then, when we have just a lot of people wanting to have it, but generally every other week at a different airport. And the whole idea behind the Breakfast Club is to promote fellowship, aviation safety, and aviation currency. Like Gerald will always tell you, if you come enough to the Breakfast Club, you won't need charts to get around in South Carolina and the southern part of North Carolina because you'll be able to look down, recognize the geography, know where you are and where to go to get where you want to be. So we appreciate all of you coming out. How many are here at the Breakfast Club for the first time? Wow. Where are y'all from? I hear some of we rode in from, with some folks from Fayetteville. Y'all in Fayetteville. Anybody else from North Carolina? Salisbury. All right. Great. Well, y'all are now lifetime members of the South Carolina Breakfast Club. <laughs> there are no dues, no bylaws, can't get kicked out. And I think Gerald said in 2008 there was a survey done, although by whom I do not know, that said that as near as they could figure, the Breakfast Club had something akin to 8,000 members. so many balls between 38 and 46, they cut that out and they just let the president carry the one ball around and whoever made the worst landing got to sign the ball. Now there have been people who have made bad landings, turned around, took off, didn't even stop to eat, kept on going. <laughs> <laughs> the fuel story will hold up with some. Yeah. Which one of that crew in here? <laughs> this is the same when we got there, we, we, we were first in line. Yep, we were first in line. Well, what we'll do is we'll tell them to hold your place for the next time. And when you get there, we will let you get in ahead of everybody.
word is two. Don't get over it, Susie. The second number is nine. Fifth number is zero. The last number is zero. Who's got 300?